I work as a police officer. I'm 31 years old, live in Miami, Florida, and I make $75,000 a year. It's common here in Miami that officers will work a lot of overtime due to all the special events that come in the city. Usually an officer in a larger department can make over $100,000 a year. I currently have $5,000 in savings. I have $77,000 in a 457B account, which is a deferred compensation account. It's a secondary retirement plan that's optional. It's available to different government employees. I have a city-sponsored pension. It comes, I guess, with the job. <laughs> so I have about $54,000 in the pension right now. I have about $7,500 in stocks. I kind of move them around a lot, but I really focus on options right now. My initial investment was $200. Everything else of the 7,500 is just money that I made on the market. So I have three properties. They're worth about a combination of about $122,000. One is fully up to date, renovated it like three years ago. The other one needs some rehab work. And the third one is a lot, like an actual lot, you know, just of grass. All three properties are completely paid off. I don't pay a mortgage on any of them. I have $3,000 in their rental property savings. Basically, when I collect rent from the tenant, I put money in that savings account. When I do the next rehab, I'll take from that savings to fund some of the other rehab work I'll do on the second property. I have $20,000 in another savings account that I keep in the box. After taxes, my take home is about $5,000 a month. And we're renting a small place. It's $1,600 a month. My husband pays the rent. We don't really split money. He's responsible for certain things. I'm responsible for other things. So I bought the last vehicles we purchased. And so now he's paying the rent. The property taxes are $250 per month. Automobile insurance is about $58 a month. Utilities, $83 a month. Well, that's something my husband pays for as well. $200 that I pay in monthly subscriptions, $34 a month on my phone plan, which is Straight Talk Wireless and that leaves me about $4,500 a month to spend. I don't have any credit card debt. Um, I have $100,000 in student loans, which is currently in deferment because I'm in school full time. So I'm getting my Masters of Divinity I'm in the Air Force Reserves as a chaplain candidate. This is one of the requirements to be endorsed as an official chaplain to you know, become like an actual minister. First, I'll walk through my monthly BAPE statements. Auto save 200. That's basically any deposit in my account that's over $1,000, 200 goes to savings. Credit card payment, $3,929.15. That's the payment for my credit card bill from the previous month. Nationwide, $56.07. Nationwide, $44.72. These transactions are for life insurance for both myself and my husband. City of Miami, direct deposit, $2,935. This is my check from work. Transfer from checking, $1,600. This is my husband transferring rent payment into my account. The cost of living in Michigan is completely different from the cost of living in Florida. The goal is to be able to buy property here, but I would like to have passive income before I do that. So my plan is when I can have enough rental income that will cover a mortgage here in Miami, then I wanna buy something in Miami. USAA transfer $300. This is a transfer that I was putting on to Robinhood. You might have heard about the AMC and GameStop stock market bubble on the news. For the AMC boom, I had gotten up to 18,000. Once it boomed, the app that I was using, they locked the accounts and put a lot of blocks on the trading. So I should have made a lot more money, but by the time I could actually put in a trade, I had lost a bunch of money. Gerber Life Insurance, $109.54. This is a life insurance payment for my mother. ATM withdrawal, $1,600. This is me taking out the money for rent. Transfer from checking, $950. Quick pay with Zelle, $950. This is me receiving rent from my tenant and then transferring it into the business account. Cash app, HBCU Drip, $50. Cash app, HBCU Drip, $102. This is an advertisement on an Instagram page for an event that I threw for a historically black college and university. USAA, $449.62. This is a transfer for my stock brokerage. USAA transfer, $3,000. This is a deposit for the box. Uh, last year, I decided 
that I was gonna start saving 418 every two weeks. So at the end of the year, I have $10,000. I put it into this box and in 10 years, I'll have $100,000. And I just hope I don't forget where I put my box. I think everybody will come up with some excuse for why they need to take money out of their savings. The whole purpose of the box is that you can't break into it. I'm investing in other ways, but there's just something about cash. For me, it's an accountability thing to be able to have the actual cash, to know that I'm not gonna spend it, to know that it's not making any money, but it's not losing any money either. City of Miami Direct Deposit, $2,782. THD Loan Services Green Sky, $207.72. This is a Home Depot loan from a rehab that I previously did on another property, and that's a payment towards that loan. We upgraded the entire upstairs bathroom. It was paid off, I believe in January. This was probably one of the last payments. I have my in-laws in Michigan. And so when I got there and I knew that the properties were cheap, I got into the first property that I purchased, which was in a, a small little neighborhood in Detroit. I purchased that for $5,000 down and I made a land contract, which is owner financing, and it cost $5.55 a month for 36 months until it was paid off. So I, I, when I bought the property, I put down $5,000. I had a tenant for the first three years and the tenant basically paid the remainder of the $25,000 for the first property. That property is now worth close to $60,000 and I've owned it for the last like five years. Interest payment, one cent, and my ending balance is $2,284.86. ,82. Now I'll move over to my credit card statement. Straight Talk, $34. This is my cell phone bill. What I like most about Straight Talk is that I don't have a contract and there's no surprising fees. Straight Talk uses the same networks as the larger carriers and it just doesn't make sense to pay more for the same thing. And I feel like Straight Talk is a fair price for the services that are offered. Some pass account, $10. This is the uh, tolls for driving on the interstate here in Miami. I spent $90 in tolls for this month. Amazon Marketplace, $49.79. These are just miscellaneous goods from Amazon. I usually order the majority of my things from Amazon as far as like household products or just facial things, just whatnots. $21.99, I deleted the Amazon app like two months ago because I feel like I spent too much money on Amazon. I've, I've tried to tone down the purchasing on Amazon since, since this statement. In total, I spent about $1,500 at Amazon this month. My most frequent purchases are Amazon and food. Wendy's, $22.53. Kachita Cuban Cuisine, $20. Porto Saga Restaurant, $24.90. A lot of the food charges are at work. Comcast Cable, $44.98. 38th Street Valero, $20. Prime Video, $6.78. Geico Insurance, $60.35. This is for car insurance. Publix, $164.76. The liquor store, $101.18. In Jacksonville, Florida, where I had flown to on standby, this is my best friend's birthday weekend that we celebrated. The Dak Shack and Package, $104.66. This is a restaurant that was in Jacksonville that we all went out to eat for her birthday. This is a second charge from the Dak Shack and Package for $119. This is a lift charge for $28.65. Hulu, $2.26. This is a monthly subscription for movies and some of them are discounted through different credit card perks. Lyft Rideshare, $11.41. Lyft Rideshare, $14.31. This is BT Course Hero, $39.95. This is a website that I use for school. JB Lock Artistry, $45. Macy's, $58.85. PayPal, $174.89. General Storage, $360. This is a storage bill I paid for my aunt. Miami Hookah Head, $16.03. General storage, $240. This is another storage fee for my aunt. Marathon Petro, $5. This is probably candy or soda from the gas station at work. The UPS store, $3.09. State Farm, $61.08. This is insurance on the property. Square Hardware, $104.86. This is a device that takes payment that I purchased for an event that I was having. Mama Jenny's Restaurant, $1,500. This is an expense for renting the event space. 
So the event was a historically black college and university social gathering. There was COVID-19 restrictions in place where we did temperature checks and people wore masks. The venue was all outdoors, you know, like a day party. It was music and drinks served. The event was to raise money. I was hoping to have enough money to do some type of small scholarship to give to a student in need. I spent about $3,000 on the event. That was in part the venue, food, alcohol, and decoration for the event. Etsy, $26.07. Univerbs Incorporated, $224.30. This is an editing website, so when I write large papers, I usually send it into this website so that they can edit it, because what I don't usually have is a bunch of time if, you know, I've already written a paper. So <laughs> they'll make all the corrections and make sure that it's ready to be submitted. This paper was just a large paper. 12.5 is right before the end of the semester, so this is probably my final. Saks Fifth Avenue, $703.53. These are some shoes I bought that I ended up returning. Hulu, $12.06. Reversal, American Express airline fee, $3.08, $3.08, $6.16, $3.08, $6.16. $6 this is basically um, when you cancel a trip through Amex Travel, these are fees that get reimbursed. Pandora Radio, $5.65. Vital Source Technologies, $78.34. This is a textbook, that uh, an ebook that was online. Marathon Petro, $2.28. This is like a soda or a snack at work. Publix, $124.52, this is groceries. Walgreens, $33.20. Plug-in karaoke, $30.12. This is an outing at a karaoke place here in Miami. Baptist Health, $20. This is a payment for a um, copay. Pinecrest Body Contouring, $125. This is a doctor visit. Dollar Tree, $40.66. Walgreens, $68.98. Walgreens, $5.46. Probably another um, fee for medicine because that's both on the same day after the doctor's visit. Dollar Tree, $11.77. Public, $69.45. Marathon Petro, $31.09. Dollar Tree, $80.25. Amazon Music, $4.52. This is a subscription. Walgreens, $51.99. American Airlines, $31.14. This is likely a standby fee, because I fly standby a lot. Through my husband's job, we get flight perks, so we're able to fly standby at a discounted rate. American Airlines, $31.14. American Airlines, $31.14. These are additional flights to Texas, because we decided to go to Texas for New Year's. United Airlines, $113.10. Spirit Airlines, $58.38. Both of these are flights that I ended up purchasing and I didn't fly standby because they were so cheap. My most unusual expenses for this statement were the frequency of the trips. I commonly will travel about once a month, but usually I don't travel three times a month. The total is $8,970.37. And that's my monthly money breakdown. I was raised with this concept that like credit was like the devil and you know it was a very bad thing. I never knew about credit. I didn't know anything but it was bad. That's the only thing I had heard. My parents were regular middle class people. They worked and saved for the things that they wanted and I never really understood the concept of um, like making your money work for you. And so I guess because it was such a mystery to me, it kind of like led me to research more and kind of learn more for myself. But I didn't really have any more exposure than I guess the average person has. I think financial freedom um, gives you a lot of opportunities, you know, mostly just time, which is you can't buy. And I just wanted that for my family one day. I wanted to have time. I didn't want to spend my life at work all day. And um, that's what I'm trying to structure you know, my finances to be able to do one day, to just be able to have some time.